pretty exciting news, apparently. The title of this video is Godzilla X Kong Sounds Groundbreaking. So let's go ahead and see what kind of new news that Dangerville has for us in the new Empire news Have you update. Have found yourself questioning Godzilla's new evolution? Let's see. In the I haven't questioned the new update or the new updated Kong, look. The new Empire. I personally like it. Well, we finally got the reasoning <laughs> behind Godzilla. Let me know what you think about the, the new evolution for Adam Wingard, or who I like to call Beardzilla. Beardzilla. Up, this is Jacob, and welcome let's to go. Dangerville. We got Thanks new updates Total here. Film, a movie-based magazine company, we have just gotten our biggest load of new Empire news yet. New Empire news, I like, like the sound of news, it. Give this video a big old hit that like, like button if you haven't yet, right guys, and it. hit that subscribe button. So starting off, for any of those Appreciate wondering you. how much time has passed since Godzilla vs. Kong in the That's timeline question. leading up to the events of the new Empire, I wouldn't say it long, right? takes place pretty much right after. Probably something similar to how much time has passed in real life since that movie. I was going to say, so because the, be the girl hasn't grown a lot, jumps or anything like and uh, that. the other people, the article also they look kind of the same. It grew a little bit. Both Godzilla and Kong, after their big feud in that movie confirming that at the end of gvk that only a small truce was made between the a two, small truce so it was Godzilla like an understanding was hesitant of allowing kong to get away clean now he according did beat to him the down. article as well, long lie. as kong went back down to the hollow earth and let godzilla claim the surface then godzilla wouldn't have to give kong another weapon he did too he kind of destroyed him. He could have ended him with the atomic breath. The, hollow earth for his the kiss own. of death, but he didn't. But wait, there's already Good man a King Godzilla. Kong down there who calls the land his own. A much larger, leaner, and more agile, gigantic Ooh, I primate. I cannot wait to see this movie, bro. Is symbolic of blood and fury. Let me know how and excited you guys are in the comments. About the Scar King that comes up next on a scale of one to ten. At one point, it said that the Scar King seems to have an army right of other titanic primates to do his dirty work. The word seems, well, makes it seem like the army of apes at the Scar King's disposal aren't necessarily on board with his plan. Yeah, I don't May think they're on his side, revolt bro. revolt against him in the story. Tell me what you think. The interview also confirms I like the Scar that. King Shimu, does indeed maybe. rule this kingdom by I fear. need to know more news about Shimu. The Mad King has killed countless titans who Not really, dared though. to stand up to him. And I'd Scar like to isn't surprised. going to just be okay with this new outsider Kong coming to the Hollow Earth and mucking things up implying that our Kong is going to possibly be the cause of the conflict of this film. I mean, that would, would make sense. a nice twist for our hero, I think. If he you know what I want to see? reason why the Scar King elects to rage more like, war on the planet. What do you think? So more monster storytelling. The new empire like, you know, we've had the characters actually doing the storytelling. Like these people. The big addition to the series this but I want to see more monster. Dan Stevens, who will play the character That's just me, Trapper, I like gave action. readers an insight into his character. It turns out he's more or less a Titan veterinarian. And to give you guys the best explanation, I'm going to read what he said from the Total Film interview. Steven said, Not a military vet, a veterinarian. He's a specialist in these creatures. If you've got a sick titan, Trap is your guy. Mm, he's brought okay. in to give our main so Kong a bit of a hand like at the beginning vet. of the movie. And then he finds himself along for the ride. He's the sort of guy Maybe you want he kind of helped like make this. that brace for Kong's he's arm. He's phased by much. Some of it's stuff he's seen before. Some of it is stuff none of us have ever seen before. Evolved he's got this wonderful G. sense of awe. He's a man of nature. He really feels at one with the cosmos, whether it's above the ground or in the hollow earth. So he sounds like an animal-loving, rugged, hippie character, a lot like me. So I like that. Hopefully All right, not he's bad. not too goofy is my only concern. Now myself and other fans have questioned if this means Trapper will be the main force behind getting Kong suited up That's with what the I was saying. Glove. I think when he's kind of behind was that one. about this, he got cryptic and dodged the question. But says Trapper has one of the best intros for a character he's ever made for us, so look forward to it. I love when they Thankfully, dodge James questions. Stevens I don't like when they're like, bit yes. Less secretive about his she moves in the movie. And gave us some information about it. Man, he I, says, I, they had to have asked about that, right? Extremely up close with Kong. Hopefully. So for that sequence, they had a giant piece of Kong's, he laughs. I was going to say a giant piece of Kong's anatomy, but that sounds really wrong. They had a real <laughs> bit of Kong that I had to interact with. That was kind oh, of A real bit of Kong? The human storyline is all in one place this time around, says Rebecca. Hall, the actress who plays Eileen Andrews. I really enjoyed getting to work with Brian Tyree Henry on this one, who I didn't get to work with last time. Andrews recruits his character I like to help him. He's something, funny. and working with Dan is a blast for me, one of my favorite things to do. So when Dan and Rebecca were I like asked about mix, how their characters know, action, were connected funny. in this new movie, they said, we were friends and then roommates after university, so we go way back. I hope viewers feel that. There's a bit of history oh, there between our characters. We'll have now, some director chemistry. Adam Winger did give a few sure. crumbs here regarding the story. More monster he says, news. This is very much a kitchen sink hollow earth experience. We take you all over. 
You see all different types of environments I like and lots that. of new creatures and some familiar ones. New creatures? At the same time, we still manage to get around a lot on the surface. We have scenes in Rio, Rome. See, like that. I don't, I don't know what big kaiju that is. Feel. We cover a lot of ground. So the human characters might be interesting this time around, but don't expect any minus one deep drama or anything like that. However, it's sounding like Wingard and team are doing their best to get the most likable MonsterVerse cast in human stories since Skull Island. No, not that one. The yeah, that, that's in the cool, article, but I just want Monster that Apex, Mayhem. The that's what I want. Tech company is gone in a I want to see some monster sense, fights. But their tech has been absorbed by Monarch, and this will likely explain all the sci-fi tech being introduced in this new movie. Which leads us to the big topic of why Godzilla looks the way he does and why the movie seems a like bit I said, more I personally like the look. eccentric compared to past movies in the series. Once again, I'm going to read his Let words. Let me know what so you guys think of the look, the bro. I like it. Your head at what he's aiming for with this new movie. It's not for One everybody, but you know. One of the incredible things about Godzilla is that the character has existed in so many different tones and interpretations in the True. Toho films. True. Very factual. I'm a huge fan of the whole spectrum, and I've always really enjoyed the late Showa era. There are so many He's big gotta be ideas a fan of Millennium, and they have then. such epic fun with it's these larger-than-life characters. In Godzilla vs. Kong, we paid homage to that epic tradition, including a handful of Easter eggs for the hardcore fans. And while I don't want to give anything away, we definitely work in a few things for the Toho fans in the new film as well. So keep your eyes okay. open. So there'll and be a next, little bit of Adam Easter eggage going on. So I like that. so much vibrant colors in his movies. Whenever I was talking to the visual artists, what I told them was, I want the color palette of this film to resemble the experience of what it was like to walk down a toy aisle in the 1980s. When you I have love that. G.I. Joe and Transformers. So many colors and textures. That's love what I that. wanted okay. to bring to this movie. This new heightened reality. I mean, I like I all the colors. Out, I don't can know. Can you take the over-the-top toy like I said. aisle experience, but then find a way to ground that into reality? Very specifically, in the last film, I wanted Godzilla to have a continuity to look the way he had in King of the Monsters and the 2014 Godzilla movie. But then I didn't get a chance at doing my version of Godzilla. So now I wanted to do so now different we got things the with the spines man. and try different colors. I didn't want it to just I think be it, random. Like part I'm, of the I'm story. just saying, I think it looks and so similarly sick. Similarly with Kong, I wanted to give him some sort of new look as well. The pink's we almost like the red and the blue mix. It's got that hue going on, even though it's stuff. purple. So Stop. if you wanted an explanation as to why I think Godzilla looks, looks different, right. apparently looks good. it's going to have a point and purpose in the story. It's going to make sense, but right. realistically at the end of the day, I just wanted these monsters to look more like toys and they have more vibrant colors. So I guess they Pop I'm not mad at that though. More and they sell more merchandise. Ka -ching. Now, if you're like okay. myself and you find yourself missing the golden days of cinema, well, it seems like the new empire was made with the intent of recapturing some of that classic filmmaking. I love that. Kind of like By a throwback? prioritizing real locations, real settings, and real environments. Get this, they actually went to these places in real life everywhere. Oh, that's beautiful. According Finally, not article, a green screen. Reads, the environments in Godzilla Kong, the new empire, will really pop. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really care. I mean, green screen, Iceland, not a green screen. Hawaii, and Australia. As long as it's a good story, I don't. Fantasy landscape, as Wingard puts it. Production designer Tom Hammock added that they had hundreds of people working on the movie and they built more than 60 sets for the production. Oh, and wow. He stressed that real locations were sets? utilized whenever possible. Hollow Earth is based on this living fossil jungle that still exists on Earth in the far north of Australia, where it hits Papua New Guinea. The studio let us go to the place with leeches and snakes and constant rain and mud. We built sets that could be carried into the jungle. Literally, oh, that's we shot where the road ends in northern Australia. In the last film, we had the Heave, the Hollow Earth aerial vehicle. In this one, we updated it so it breaks apart into 14 pieces. I mean, they definitely have some good it down sets. Into a remote but that's just not, I don't care about the sets, and you know? it. I care about that the action. That way, you can have the characters exit the People care about different things, though. Fully around I know it. a lot of people will and care about that. If you want to see the monsters destroying cities like they usually do, well, you are still going to get that in Me. the new empire. And the monsters will truly be the stars of this new movie. And Let's the actors, go. for the most part, all seem to know their place and have set their egos aside. They're going to be the stars? that they aren't the reason why most people are going to watch the movie. They oh, big time. for Godzilla and Kong. With all the divas right now in this industry, it's nice to see a team of actors and actresses understanding that they aren't the same. Yeah, we're coming for Godzilla universe. and Kong. I'm sorry. Now, there's been a lot of attention directed towards the trailers. Maybe she apparently will. less than desired CGI. Apparently, the CGI on the new Empire has had over 2,000 people working on it. And even though yeah, some people claim the bad. CGI isn't up to par, the team is working their
I don't, make this the most impressive overall I didn't find anything terrible with it, you know. Series yet. And they and still have a, a while opinion, before it's actually done. 10 times the amount of titans and monsters we've ever seen yet in the MonsterVerse. I right? think it's okay to have a little dip in CGI. Right? Yeah, bro, you put more monsters in, I don't really care. Interview, it's modern Adam CGI, Winter's it's going to look good regardless. Movie. Once again, I'm just going to go ahead and read what he actually said to you guys so you Bet. hopefully understand him. What did this man say? The trailer doesn't tell us about why Scar King is the world-ending threat. Facts. There's a lot of Barely gave us anything. Uncovered yet. It's interesting because, in general, these movies are always about the human threat. You know, the human beings are somehow responsible for a lot of the problems going on. Mecha Godzilla is the pinnacle of that. We literally created the anti-Godzilla to combat Godzilla. And then that's and he was just too much to power for anyone to have. What's interesting about this new film is that we go in a direction that I don't think the series has ever seen before, which is that the Scar <sighs> King like is in a way the closest that the human threat has ever been just opposed onto a Titan itself. So maybe the Scar stronger King than almost Mecha G? represents an upscaled version of the worst parts of humanity, just as Kong that's represents kinda crazy. some of the best parts of humanity. I would say that's Scar beautiful. King is the greatest threat that we've seen in these movies. It's really going to take a full team together to bring it down because it's too big for just Ooh. one Titan. I like it. We go bigger on this one, he promises. The movie is high octane. It's non-stop. I can't believe everything we've packed in. He then implies that it's they have set pieces excited. that will shock you. But the set most pieces important that will thing, shock and I can't you. stress this enough, he says, is that this movie is doing something that no film has ever done before. We are breaking new ground with visual effects in terms of non-verbal storytelling. We have large sequences, almost eight minutes sometimes, where the film just follows the monsters and the monsters are telling their own story. What did it I just really say? It really works. It's not like you're sitting Earlier. there trying to figure it out. Yes! This is the movie I more wanted to monster. see when I was a kid. When you I love a this. Kid, you barely even understand. You want to see the, the monsters subplots. more, bro. But when the monsters are fighting each other, you don't want to see so much human and then alliances. oh, monster fight. You understand nah, Godzilla bro. and Mothra's relationship. You understand Godzilla and Ghidorah's relationship. <sighs> Your imagination Ooh, I love is it. interfacing I love it. with the movie. So I wanted to truly do a monster movie, and I wanted this to be my mic drop on the storytelling of monsters. Oh, I can't wait. Maybe man. I'll do another one, or maybe not. But if I don't, I wanted to make sure that I put everything in that I ever wanted to see on screen. I'm liking what I'm hearing. That is the end of this video. Let me know how excited you are for this movie. I just got a little more excited. When we have more updates, I will let you know. Thank you for watching with me. I love y'all. Goodbye.